All right, guys, the holidays are coming up. So let's say you wanted to order some gifts for your family. Now, everyone knows that the most obvious gift to order for anybody that they'll love is pajamas and socks. But here's the issue. You got three cousins. You got four siblings. You got nephews, nieces, grandparents. You want to get it for everyone. Does it make sense to make an individual order for every single person in your family? Well, if you did that, you'd have to pay shipping costs with every single order. Whereas opposed, if you bulk them together and order them at once, just one shipping cost. Well, in the world of crypto, it's no different. Layer two protocols allow you to bunch these orders together to pay less fees. And one way that's done is through roll-ups. Today, we're gonna be talking roll-ups and not those fruit kinds you used to eat as a kid. Let's get it. Welcome to BitBoy Crypto, my name is Ben. Today, we're gonna be breaking down roll-ups and why they're so important. It's something you really need to understand. Rollups are absolutely necessary in crypto. They allow people to save time, energy, and money. Think if crypto was a busy highway on the interstate, rollups are the additional lanes that you can add to keep everybody from road raging on each other. I had to go to counseling for it once. <laughs> so in essence, rollups, well, they're a scaling solution. They allow you to do more with less. And of course, it's easy to know what they mean, rollups. You're rolling up transactions together to batch them faster. These are done on layer two protocols. And then once they're done and the transactions go through, they go communicate that information to the layer ones. By doing this, it cuts down the cost of gas tremendously. It increases throughput and speeds up the time of finality or when the transaction is officially done. But what's cool is all this is done with the same security that a layer one protocol has. Now, a lot of people understand with the implementation of E2.0, that's going to eventually make these transactions much faster on their own. But founder of Ethereum, Vitalik Buterin, has already said, layer two protocols and rollups will still continue to be a factor even after Ethereum 2.0 is completely rolled out. So without getting too much into the coding or the technical aspects that I know you don't understand, because I don't understand it either, there's two different types of rollups. You have ZK rollups, and then you also have optimistic rollups. Now, both of these rollups work on the Ethereum mainnet. Both of these rollups work off of layer two protocols like we talked about, and they increase speed and avoid bottlenecking on the Ethereum mainnet. So ZK stands for zero knowledge. They use a type of cryptography called a zero knowledge proof. Now, you may not know this, but founder of Algorand, Silvio Macaulay, well, he actually created these or invented them or whatever you say when it comes to creating math proofs. But they use validity proofs to verify whether the transactions are real or not. Now, this part's where it gets a little bit complicated. In this model, the transactions that are submitted to the Ethereum mainnet, they use a cryptographic proof called a SNARK which stands for succinct non-interactive argument of knowledge. And according to ethereum.org, the validity proof demonstrates with cryptographic certainty that the proposed changes to Ethereum state are truly the end result of executing all the transactions in the batch. So while ZK rollups use validity proofs to prove that the transactions are valid, optimistic rollups, well, they're more optimistic and they assume the transactions are valid. They're basically using the old honor system, but there's a catch. So they already assume that all the rolled up data is legit. That's very trusting. And in a world of trustless systems, that doesn't seem to be a good move, but there's a little bit more to it. Optimistic rollups save time by assuming everything is legit and valid, but they still prevent fraudulent transactions. Here's how. They allow people a certain amount of time, maybe a week or a few days or several hours, but the most common time is a week. During this time, people get to contest transactions that they feel are invalid. The supposed fraudulent transaction, well, it's sent to the Ethereum mainnet to check to see if it's a lie or not. Now, this is where ZKs are a little bit different. The SNARK cryptography only accepts valid transactions, but this is where the optimistic rollups are crazy. There's money on the line when you suspect a transaction is fraudulent. If you say something is suspect and it turns out to be a valid transaction, you lose stake ETH. And on the inverse, if the transaction does turn out to be fraudulent, the person who sent it, well, they lose stake ETH. Now, optimistic rollups still have a ways to go. Vitalik says that there's better versions of these coming up soon. Both Matic and Loopring use ZK rollups, while Optimism and Arbitrum, they use optimistic rollups. There's a fast developing space, and that's the whole point, to make transactions faster. Both of these rollup solutions they offer things that are good. There are pros and cons of both. There's pros and cons to using a layer two solution at all. But overall, we think this is a fast developing space and we're looking forward to what comes out of it. I'll just say, I'm optimistic. That's all I got, be blessed, good boy.